say good morning, good afternoon, it's about that time. Uh, my name is Roy Morales, I'm running for mayor of Houston, Texas, and I have proudly served my country for over 23 years in the United States Air Force. And now, with your support and vote, I'd like to continue that service of history as mayor of this great city. I'm a retired lieutenant colonel, Jack Rayfield, who's led many successful missions in the military. I'm proud to have been chief spatial operations team, a joint operations between NASA and the United States Air Force. I have led the integration of $1 billion projects for the Department of Defense. I've also owned my own company that focuses on information technology, disaster planning, and alternative energy. I also serve our community as a Harris County School trustee where I oversee a budget of $90 million. Houston has some very interesting concerns that we really need to focus on to make this a better city. We have to make sure that we overcome this economic storm and have economic prosperity. We need to make sure that businesses are making money. We need to make sure that businesses are there to help the nonprofits because I'm associated with several nonprofits. I'm president of the board of the Ambassadors International Ballet of Puerto Rico, and I understand how hard it is right now during these difficult times. The best way to get this economy going is that we have to become a tax and business friendly city once again. And that means providing property tax relief to your families and businesses because it's your money you should spend it when and where you choose and not government. That's what will get businesses going. That's what will get businesses helping our community again. We also have to strengthen public safety. We also need to improve city services. And we need to have a new vision for our families. One that is about education, making sure that all of our children move up the ladder of success. This is my website, wardenrells.com, and I ask for your vote this November. How can you involve low and middle income neighborhoods and other historically underrepresented populations, such as renters, in the capital improvement <coughs> program and general planning activities? Well, it's about information. This is an age of information. We've got to be able to use the new technology plus the old way of doing business. We've got to make sure we get the information out through our churches, community centers. But we also have new ways of doing it through social networks, through the websites. We've got to make sure that information will be there. And that's why I want to make sure that we have a public information office that is working with all of the communities. Thank you. The question had to do with uh, how we're going to partner with different organizations to really improve our health services in our great city. Well, it's really simple. It starts with the world's finest medical center. We need to take advantage of that. We need to take advantage with partnering with them and with the Harris County Public Health and Environmental Services. They have a fantastic program over there. We also need to make sure we work with the state. We need to lobby the state to raise us up in the level of health services here. We rank very low when it comes to that. We need to work with the federal government. We need to make sure we have a line of communication across all agencies and that we're prepared and there's not hysteria with a so-called virus that's here. We need to make sure we have accurate information, but at the same time, we have to be able to run the scenarios to be prepared to protect all of our citizens. I will make sure that as your mayor, I will create a dialogue between the mayor's office and the medical center. No surprises when it comes to protecting you and your health. 